Coming up on this episode of Outlook TV. Till the World Ends and Sapphic Panic. Montreal Meadow's new book, Meadow Graphic. East Van Panto, Beauty and the Beast. And much, much more. Welcome to Outlook TV. I'm Emily Ann Fraser. And my name is T. We'd like to thank the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil Tooth Nations for the honor and privilege to film this episode of Outlook TV on their traditional unceded lands. Outlook TV is the queer magazine news show that brings you the stories that matter the most from coast to coast. Welcome back. You're watching Outlook TV. Hey, T, you know what this table's missing? I'm not sure. A coffee table book. Ah, oh, Andre's got something for us, exploring all different types of gay fantasies. Hello everyone, salut tout le monde. A Montreal photographer in the LGBTQ plus community, known for his pop art, stepped outside of his comfort zone by releasing a coffee table picture book. Let's meet him to find out some more. Well, I started when I was a kid to do photography when I got my first camera as a Happy Meal from McDonald's. And then uh, I was a big fan of hot hair balloons as well. And I had seen the pictures that my dad had taken. It was kind of like my goal to take pictures of those hot hair balloons when I was a kid. When I went to photography school and I discovered like photographers like David Lachapelle, uh, Pierre et Gilles, Guy Bourdain, and I saw that they were creating an environment for their model. I was like, oh my God, like this is what I like to do. There's a lot of models that I do like to work with again and again. Uh, like my friend Valerie, who every time that I propose something, she's always willing. There's uh, Dominique Junot, who also like I've known for the past 14 years. Stage sister that I call Wendy Warhol, who's also a drag queen. She considered herself the daughter of uh, Andy Warhol. I was like, oh, Warhol. So already like the process came from that. So it's always because of a certain specific thing. At some point, like I started like being inspired through songs, through other things where I started like seeing not just one picture, but a story being told. So indeed I have appeared in some of my full frontal nudity uh, pictures. To me, like the picture doesn't represent a selfie that you take to send somebody. I've made a piece of art. So it's art. It's a state of mind. The body is not something that we should be ashamed, no matter the size. I, l I never do the same thing twice because I think that it's important to show how everybody is so unique. Everybody is so different. Like everybody has a diversity. So I guess the theme in my pictures would be diversity. I have released not too long ago uh, a book titled Fantasies. That was also new for me because I had never written a book before. And with those texts that I wanted to put in the book, I also had like the idea of like creating arts that illustrate what I wanted to talk about in the book. So that's why you see all of the pictures being the pictures that they are in the book. I don't see the sexual aspect to be an important thing. I don't see it as sexual. I just use my imagination and I use the body the way that I want to create like an art piece. I guess like using religion comes from all of those concerns as well from those fundamentalists who have this obsessions with the LGBTQ community. Any kind of art, whether it's from a picture, from drag queens, from a movie, are all meant for discussion, for conversation. And I'm totally fine and willing to answer any questions. Why I decided to do the book was because I thought it was important to educate people on the impact of homophobia. And like James Baldwin has said, like artists are here to disturb the peace. And that's what art is all about. Here's the perfect present for your loved ones. Follow the link on how to get this beautiful work of art. Andre Tardif in Montreal for Outlook TV. That's all the time we have for this episode of Outlook TV, but we will be back. And until we see each other again, why don't you check us out on all our social media platforms or better yet, consider volunteering with us. Thank you so much for joining us. My name's Emily Ann Fraser. And my name is T. Stay, Stay festive, festive Canada. Canada.